it's me Desiree with Clear Day. Today we're going to be doing a fun craft that you can do at home using supplies that you have lying around. So what you'll need are paper plates. I have here some printables that I got from just googling snowflakes on Google and I printed these off. You'll need some type of yarn um, any color works. Uh, you can find <clears throat> different varieties and um, sizes, okay? So that's one thing. And then you'll need some type of needle that'll work with your yarn, okay? So I have here a variety pack with various sizes. And I'm going to be using the biggest size today. And this is just gonna help us to be able to thread this yarn <clears throat> through it, okay? So I have, actually I have two. This is our biggest one. Okay, so the eye of our needle is very large here. Um, lastly, you'll need scissors and glue. So what we're doing here is we're going to be sewing, all right? So we're gonna sew these shapes into our plate. Okay, so it's kind of like an embroidery. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is glue your snowflake into the center of your plate. Um, I think some of mine are a little bit large, but all you'll do is you'll just cut them out. Um, let's see. You're just gonna cut out your snowflake and you can make this as simple as you'd like, or you can make it a little bit trickier by um, how elaborate your, your pattern is, okay? And also, I found that you can find paper plates with designs already on them. Usually, uh, Michael's or the Dollar Tree will have them according or depending on the season that we're going into or that we're currently in. Uh, and they're not, they're pretty inexpensive, but in our case, all intents and purposes, we are going to be using a printed out uh, shape, okay? So all I'm going to do at this point, now that we cut it out and it fits perfectly in here, so we're going to paste it down. Um, preferably, I would use, if you're going to do it immediately or right away, some type of glue stick, just because this is a wet, wet glue. Um, but I didn't have one in the studio today, so we're using, I'm just putting on as thin of a layer as I can, uh, just so that when I do go through with poking holes, uh, it won't be so watery or wet still. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so you just stick that down there. Now it's stuck on there. You're going to be working off of this here pattern, okay? And we're going to try to embroider it on this side of our paper plate. Um, to poke your holes, you might find that it's easier if you have some sort of a device where you can easily just kind of go through and poke. And you'll want to do that on a carpet or um, some type of surface that, you know, isn't going to get damaged, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and I'm probably going to use our sharper needle here to go ahead and poke my holes through. So this is all you're going to do. That's it. We're just trying to get through um, our plate here. And we're going to go through and we're going to poke holes throughout our entire outline. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and we'll start the process. 